Hey, it's Chris Cutto, and welcome to the Putney Breeze YouTube channel, where we teach you the basics of creating your own mobile app or custom solution database. Now, this video is part of a series of videos where we take you right from the very start of how to create a mobile app or a custom database solution. And what we do is we use a travel app as an example. And it's a real simple travel app where you could keep your photos nice and neat, create a little report, create a little travel budget, and take it on your holidays of yourself to uh, capture those records accordingly. Where we're up to in this series is we're up to the point where we need to create multiple days in an itinerary from our trips. So in previous videos, if you watch previous videos, we've gone off and we've created a, how, we've shown you how to create a record for a trip and how to use a popover to, to set the information appropriately for your start date and your end date. But now that we've created a trip and we've created those parameters of, of where you're going or, or what you're going to call your trip and the start and the end date, we now need to create an itinerary. And the itinerary will be literally a record for each day. So to do that, what we need to do is we actually need to be able to press a button and go from one record in my trip or your trip record to have related multiple records in the one go or in the one press of a button. And how we do that is through a loop script. Because we're creating related records at the same time, what we need to do, there's a few steps involved in making this happen, this magic happen. Uh, first step is, is to set the variable, which is set variables, which is basically just in plain English, just copy the field, the copy the value of the field. Then we need to navigate to the right context. So we need to navigate to the itinerary context and create records. And then we set the values that we've pasted. So in, we cut and we paste the values that we copied from the trips. And then we create a loop to create the records. And finally, we think about how we're going to present the layout. So they're the steps that we need to go through to create our itinerary. Just to recap, you take me away, create a trip, then we create a add a new trip. And from adding a new trip, we then press this button to open up our popover where we type in where we're going. So where are we going to go? Let's go to the UK. And let's say we're going to leave tomorrow and we're going to come back in a week. And when we press let's go, we've just created our itinerary. So these are all the separate records for our holiday in the UK for each particular day so that we can then step into the each day and attach our travel documents and so on and whatever details we need. That is what we're going to try to achieve. We're going to try to achieve with one press of a button, literally create the separate records that we can attach photos to and so on as we go along. So how do we do that? Well, let's go back to the model that we're building. Now, this is where we were at in regards to our last video, where we've created the popover, where we can input the trip name and we input the start date and the end date. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create the script that we're going to attach to this button of let's go. So how do we create scripts? Well, we go into our script workplace, which you can navigate to uh, from your top navigational toolbar. And you can see there's no scripts here. So we're going to create a new script and we're going to call this script popover new holiday. Let's do that. Let's start with allowing the user to abort. Well, actually, no, we won't. We'll just turn that off. Now we need to set the variables. Now, what do you, just to explain, setting the variables is picking the data that you require in, so we're creating a relationship here. So getting the data that we require that we create in trips and making sure that they're assigned in the itinerary so the relationship is created. So what are some of the things that we need to make sure that we set that data for or, or copy that data across for? So what we need to do here is set variable. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set my trips ID because we need to create the relationship. So now we're going to specify the value. And while we're in tri my trips, we're going to trip my trips ID. We've set the my trips ID variable. Then we need to set the number of days that we're going to travel. And let's do that by my trip. Oops. 
days. And what we're going to do now is we're going to specify this formula here, my trip day. If I was just to step out of this for a second and go to manage database and go to my trip days, you can see there that my trip days is a calculation of the trip end date minus the trip start date. So what that means is that it will tell us how many days the trip is for. So there's literally a value there on how many days. That's why we're copying that across because we're going to use that in a loop. Back to the script workplace. The next thing that we're going to copy across is set variable on the trip start date. And we're going to specify the trip start date from the my trips table. And the last thing that we're going to copy across is the trip name. And that will be that field there. My trips, trip name. Okay, great. Now we've set the variables that we want, to, or the, the values that we want to copy across and move into our itineraries and our itinerary table and our itinerary data. Now it's really important to understand where you're at with this in terms of running the script. So the next thing that we actually need to do is actually close the popover because remember we've got the popover open here. We're in a position where we've got the popover open and we're about to click on the popover button to run the script. So the first thing the script does is it pulls this data. It says okay set these variables, pick out this data of the current context. Now we're going to close the popover and we're going to move over to the context which allows us to create records. So we're going to close the popover and go to layer itinerary. We're not going to have any animation in this case, but if we set the animation, particularly on our mobile layouts, we'll, we'll do what we ask it to do. And you will see that you know we can slide in and flip and zoom and cross dissolve and do all sorts of sexy things. So now we've moved into the itinerary, itinerary layout. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually create a record. So we're going to have a new record request. Now that we've created the new record in the new layout, we're going to set some values in some fields. So we need to set fields. And what fields are we going to set? Well, we're going to set the fields from which the variables we collected in just earlier on in the script. So we find what we want to do or where we want to go to. So we're going to go to itinerary. And now we need to set some details for the itinerary. So the first thing that we're going to set is the trip name. So let's go to itinerary and find the trip name. And what's the result we want? Well, we want the result, which is the variable that we collected from before. So what we can do is we can go into trip names over here, which is trip days, trip name, and we can copy the trip name variable and we can paste it in the calculator result. So now we've in effect moved and copied and pasted the trip name into this new record. What's the next field we want to set? Let's set the relationship. So if we want to set the relationship, because we need to, we need these records to, to relate to each other, what we're going to do is we're going to find in our itinerary our foreign key my trip. So remember, this is one to many. For every trip, there's many itinerary dates. So we need to make that relationship work. So we're going to set the foreign key. And the calculated result is going to be my trip's ID. And my trip's ID comes from the set variable above. So now we've set Trip name, trip ID, what's next? Let's set the trip start date. So let's just go into here, trip start date. Oops, that's trip days, not that one. Trip start date. Let's copy that variable. Go into your set field. Specify your target, which is itinerary, date, and calculate the result, which is the pasting of the variable. So now we've set the itinerary name, the, the relationship to the trips ID, and also the start date. What we want to do next is set the loop. 
because we want to now create a number of records that reflect the fields that we've just set. So when we step into the loop, the first thing we want to do is actually create another record. Then we want to set the same fields. So I'm going to copy all these three and paste them in here. I'll just delete that line there. So now we actually created another record and we're setting the same criteria in terms of pasting the data with one difference. And the difference is the date field. Because what do we want? We want the trip start date plus one. So the record, that the new record that's created is actually the second day of our itinerary. Now as part of the loop, what we need to do is we need to basically change some of the variables as we go along so that FileMaker knows to set new days as we go along and also knows when to stop. So we're, what we're going to do next is we're going to actually set some new variables. And a new variable that we're going to set, it, what we're actually going to do is we're going to actually change the number of days. We're actually going to change the my trip days variable. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to paste that variable into here. What I'm going to do for the value is I'm going to subtract one. Now the reason I'm subtracting one is because when it when my trip days become zero, the loop stops and we exit the loop. The second set variable that I'm going to change is to do with setting the date for the new record. Because we've just created a new day and a second day, so we've created the first day and the second day, we need to tell the loop how to create the third day. And to do that, we need to change one of the variables so that it knows that. Now the variable that knows what day to start from is the trip start date. So we'll just copy that in and we'll paste it in here and we'll specify a value which is trip start date plus one. So we've moved the trip start date. Now why is this important? Because when we set field here in the itinerary, we actually take the variable trip start date and we add one. So because as we go through the loop and we've uh, and we've closed it off by saying, hey, we've changed the trip start date by an extra day. In effect, what this will show in the trip itinerary next is the trip start date plus one plus another. So we're moving forward in the days that we create. Now, lastly, we need to tell the loop when to stop. So we go to exit loop if. And when does it stop? Well, it stops when my trip days equals zero. So we're just going to grab my trip days variable. And we're going to basically say if my trip days equals zero, then end the loop. Now that we've created the loop, what we need to do next is think about how it needs to present for our user and what we want to actually show on the layout. So what we're going to do is we're going to perform, we're doing, going to do a perform find so that on the list layout of the itineraries, it just shows the records for the trip that we just created. So what we're going to do is we're going to include a perform find and in the perform find, we're going to specify the values. We're going to create a new action and we're going to find the record from itineraries and in itinerary, what do we want to do? We just want to isolate foreign, foreign key my trips. And what's the criteria for foreign key my trips? Well, the criteria was the set variable that we we had from the very start, and the and the criteria was my underscore trips underscore ID. So we're going to add this and click OK. So now we're going to do perform find records specifically on that variable of my trips ID, which is what we just created. So you can see there the my trips ID is the variable that we set over here when we set the field within the itinerary of my trips ID, or we set the variable up here actually, my trips ID here. Now that we've performed the find, what we want to do is sort our records. So we get to sort records, uh, and we're going to specify what we sort by, and we're going to go to sort records by itinerary, and we're going to sort it by the date. And we're going to sort the date by sending. We don't need the dialog box on. We're going to turn that off. So now we're going to save the script. 
So here we are. We've now created this script to create a multiple records specifically related to our trip. Now we're going to attach it to the button. Here we are in the button. I'm just going to right click, button actions, perform script, and attach to pop over for new holidays. Exit the layout. So now that we've got this, what we can see is that if we if we click into the records that we set and click let's go, we've just created seven records. Now this is not in a list view, but what we can see is that we can see every single day. So have a look at the date and have a look at the itinerary ID or the trip number. We've set the trip number of trip number 10, which is the foreign key, and as we click through, we'll see every single day. Now, if I was just to quickly mock this up, if we click the list view, and we quickly edit the layout, just zap these away, change the header color to our custom color, change the footer color to our custom color, move the fields up to where we want it, then include the sales that we're interested in, which are the trip date, and let's say the trip name, let's have the trip name at the top here, and the trip date, and exit this layout. What we can see is we've just created the records for our trips. Now, we, in the next video, we'll edit this layout and neaten it up so that it looks something like this. So we'll do that in the next video. Fundamentally, what we've done and what I've just shown you is how you create multiple records multiple related records through a script loop script exercise. And how do we do that? Well, we created the script workspace. We, we wrote the script as we required. We set the variable to begin with. We navigated to the right context. We set the fields. Uh, we paste the fields in that we needed. Then we created the loop to create the multiple records and specified the number of records we wanted and needed. And then we well, we went to the uh, present the layouts as we needed to. And in the next video, what we'll do is we'll present the layout appropriately. But what we've done here is we've just shown you just very quickly how we can create multiple records with a loop script. Make sure you comment. Now, again, there's 101 ways on how you can write a, a script loop. So you might think of a slightly different way to present it or a slightly different way to write it. There's Ultimately, it's about getting what you need as a result. Yes, there are some performance issues to consider, particularly if you're writing really complicated scripts. That's potentially how you can create multiple related records by a press of a button and using a loop script and creating a relationship at the same time. Make sure you comment, tell me your thoughts, let me know if you've got any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. I look forward to presenting the next video and moving forward in creating our mobile app. Thanks for watching, bye for now.